We named the tea room Laura's Tea Room. We're a very European style high tea. We have been here 10 years already, which is just unreal. When we first came up here, we thought we would just have a little tiny tea room. And I actually thought my mother, who is now 97 years old, and I could run it all by ourselves with maybe one other helper. And that didn't last very long. But we have been here 10 years with a lot of changes. We really had no idea we were going to do all this in the beginning. We were just going to do it very simple. Well, we were in here renovating the building, and local people would come in and ask what we were doing. And I would tell them we were doing a tea room, and nine times out of 10, they'd go, oh, Miss Laura would be so happy about that. Well, I had to find out who Laura was, and Laura was the last member of the Thomas family to run this mercantile as a mercantile. She passed away in the mid-90s, and the building was closed down at that time until we came along. So after we heard that so many times about how Miss Laura would be happy, we called the family and asked if we could name it after her, and it's been perfect. But I will tell you that each and every one of us answers to the name Laura. We serve high tea, which is three to four courses of small things, lots of hot tea, and because we're in the South, we do iced tea. You normally would not get iced tea, but we do iced tea, and it's wonderful. The final course is the three-tiered tray, and there's all the little bitty sandwiches and chocolate-covered strawberries and all those goodies on it. We started out with just three or four little hats that people could play with that I had picked up at garage sales or whatever, and people started bringing us hats, and so now, Last count, it was well over 100 hats. They're all vintage. They make for great pictures. And they were all given to us by customers who maybe lost a favorite aunt or a mother. And they say, you know, these are in the closet. No one looks at them. The same thing with our teacups. We have a lot, a lot of teacups. And you, you pick the teacup that you want to use for the day out of about 150 on a table. And those, a lot of those were gifts too, because they once belonged to somebody that it really mattered to them. And rather than being tucked away or on a shelf at a consignment shop, they give them to us. And they're every single day, they're oud nod over, or the hats are worn and more memories are made. So it's kind of a, uh, there's kind of a niceness about that to a warm feeling. People come and they stay, you know, they don't want to rush. If you're looking for a fast sandwich, then you need to just keep moving because it's not here. We just want people to sit back and not be in a hurry and enjoy the people they're with. Ridgeway just keeps attracting people. The town has not changed in years. It's still very friendly. There's a lot of historic buildings to see yet. There's the world's smallest police station, which actually was a working police station. You can just come have lunch, stroll the streets, talk to people. It's like stepping back in time. I cannot tell you how many times I've heard people come down from having high tea and go around town and enjoy it, come back in to tell us how much they enjoyed it, and then get to the door and just sigh and say, do we really have to go home? And of course, we always tell them, no, come on. 